Now this video will show you how you can protect a work, worksheet so that certain cells can be edited while others are protected from editing. For example, we're going to protect this entire column B so that it's not editable but user can still change the contents in the other cells. To do that, we first have to unlock all the cells in the worksheet by going into the top left hand corner here before the header A above row 1. Click the left mouse button then move your cursor into the shaded area. Click onto the right mouse button. Select format cells. Go to the tab called protection and remove the check next to the lock. This will remove all the protection so that all the cells now are editable even when worksheet protection is turned on. Now this description here actually is used to hide the formulas from the user so that it will not show up in the formula toolbar here when worksheet protection is turned on. I'll show you how this is done later on. Then click OK. Now to protect the entire column B, first select the entire column B by selecting the column header and click onto the left mouse button. Move within the selected range and click onto the right mouse button. Go to format cells. In the protection tab here, check onto the locked description and to hide the formulas or the entries from users, turn the hidden option on and click OK. Now let us put a formula in cell B3, a simple formula such as equals to 4 plus 5 equals to 9 okay now the locking and the hidden option will only do the setting the worksheet is still not protected yet to protect the worksheet you have to go to tools look for the description protection and go to protect sheet Here you can key in a password so that to unprotect the worksheet, you have to enter a password for added protection. For example, we'll type in the password A, B, C. And here we will allow the user to select the locked cells, those that are protected as well as the unlocked cells. We can also choose other settings to allow the user to do, for example, insert columns or insert hyperlinks. When, if it's not checked on, means the user are not allowed to do all this when protection is turned on. Click OK. They'll prompt you for the password to make sure that you have keyed in the right password. So for us, we have to key in A, B, C again and click OK. Now the worksheet is protected. All the icons are all great and is not editable. Now if you look at cell B3, you will notice that the formula bar shows nothing because the formula is hidden from the user. Likewise for the rest of the cell. But if you go to uh, unlocked cells, for example like A2, you still can see the content in the formula bar. And in cell A2, you will be able to key in and change the item A, B, C. Whereas in B2, if you key in a space, they will prompt you that it's protected and you are not able to change until you unprotect the worksheet. This is how you can protect the worksheet.